Hi everyone, uh, we are here at the Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment in Oakland, California, and we are about to be putting on our own game jam here this August. Uh, so I'm joined by Al, and we have a couple questions to ask you. Uh, first of all, what is the uh, standard I.O. game jam? So the standard I.O. game jam is a hackathon that we're having here at the museum on August 19th and 20th of 2017. Uh, and we're bringing a bunch of people together to program a, a lot of text-based games. Uh, these will all use the standard input and output that a lot of programming languages have by default, so that they're all going to be text-based games that we're going to create. And hopefully we can just come up with a huge collection of these games that will be really simple and short enough for new programmers to look at the source code for and help them sort of understand how these games are put together and help them become better coders. So what kind of games can attendees expect to make at the Game Jam? So we have a, a limitation uh, using standard I.O. Uh, for text input and output only. So these will be games that have no graphics whatsoever. Um, they won't even be things like Dwarf Fortress, uh, which can just write anywhere to the screen in text. It's all just going to be stream uh, input and output. Um, but there's still a lot of things that you can do with that. You can make board or card games. Uh, you can make really any sort of turn-based games or text adventure style games like that. So when you say text-based games, do you mean like the text adventure games like Zork? Yes. Um, so we do mean uh, text adventure games like that, but the standard I.O. game jam is really aiming for smaller games uh, and producing many of them. So you don't have to create text adventure games only. Uh, these, these, those would be games that usually have a huge amount of story and characters and levels. And really, this is just going to be over a weekend. So we want to be able to create a whole bunch of different smaller games. So. Uh, just creating simple games with uh, simple game mechanics is what we're aiming for. Uh, is there a certain programming language that attendees will be using? Well, uh, nearly every programming language supports standard I.O. text. It's usually just like a print function call or an input function call to get uh, text from the keyboard. Um, so they're, you're really not limited to what programming language you can use. Um, one of the rules that we have is that we want it uh, so that you can use the whatever programming languages uh, you use, use its standard library only. So that way, uh, people who want to play these games don't have to deal with any uh, framework installation or, or any complicated setup steps like that. So a question about the Game Jam. What are the basic rules for this one? So the basic rules that we have laid out on the site is that we want to have a maximum of 256 lines of code, as measured by this uh, line of code tool that doesn't count things like blank lines or comments like that. We want to keep these games as short as possible so that way uh, beginner programmers who are reading them can uh, understand them and it won't be this massive uh, program that they have to go through. They also have to be text only and uh, also not require any uh, game frameworks or additional things that have to be installed. You should just be able to be able to play it right out of the uh, right out of the box if you have the programming language installed for it. Do uh, folks who are interested in participating, do they have to be at the MAID in order to participate? So you don't actually have to be at the MAID physically here in Oakland, California, if you want to participate. Uh, you can also just participate online. Uh, the submission process uh, basically uses GitHub to submit games, and the judges will score all submissions, whether they're you know you're submitting it from here at the museum or if you're just anywhere in the world uh, over the internet, you can also participate. Cool. Well, thanks, Al, and um, we hope to see you there. Uh, for more information, please go to themade.org slash events. Thanks. Thanks.